Relock. Drop. And save. Wait for this guy to clear out and we'll take care of the music room next. <coughs> Do be careful, there's another camera in there. But we'll grab this candlestick, brings our total to 484. Grab that goblet from under the camera, brings our total to 509. Then wait for it to turn away and get up that wooden ramp. You'll have to stand up and sprint it. Now, on this balcony, look down and to the right, and hit that switch. Now you want to jump back down to the carpet and crawl under here. Come on, Garrett, you can do this. There we go. Now just creep forward until... you get credit for the first of two secrets. Now there's a healing potion, a speed potion, and a moss arrow, so I'm not actually going to pick any of it up. But I wanted credit for finding the secret, and I got it. Now Garrett doesn't want to move. Low ceiling, I guess. Who goes there? Oh my gosh. There we go. Okay, good. Now, we need to close that back, so... Up the ramp again, as you have the opportunity. And back to our shadow. <clears throat> Alrighty. Moving right along. Okay, I didn't know where he was. So we'll wait until he heads back into that bar, and then we'll cross over there. Now just hug the wall, and the office watcher won't have a clue that you're there. We don't have a whole lot to do while we're over here at this juncture. Let's get through this room. I like to move fast along the edges, because it's quiet. Across from us is the armory. It has a whole lot of goodies if you're interested. All I want is the loot out of this office. There's a vase here, brings our total to 534. Two coin stacks bring it to 558. And there's some reading material. Thank you, my good fellow bankers, for your attendance here tonight, and thank you to my Uncle Tyler for picking me to be the next person who will be in the position of the Master Banker because he knows, like all of you do, that I will do the best job at that job, and that in my capable hands, the First City Bank and Trust will go in prominence and wealth in the city. Our valued clients will continue to fill our coffers with their wealth, which we will have used to generate more revenue to improve our wages and our services to our clients, which are always improving. For that is really what our goals must be, and we must all continue to focus on the important issues at the bank which are our goals, to make money and to please our clients. With everything misspelled, bad grammar, obviously the person who wrote this is an idiot. Oh. 
getting that done. All we really want to do is head back the way we head back the way we came. Trying to get around this light and into this shadow. Wait till he comes in and turns around, then follow him out. What's that? Oh, bad timing. That's what that is. There we go. <clears throat> Stay a little bit away it's back from him, just because he can hear you on the wood. Then hold it to the wall to get past that camera. We'll sneak back through the office we first came through. I don't know where that swordsman with the long route is. There's a good chance we'll run into him, so... Who's there? Don't move! Indeed, there is. <laughs> Alright, so we'll wait on him. Let's close that and wait for him. I do know that one of the ends of his long route is a pause up there under that camera, so... We'll wait for that. Oh, I hear the guys outside. Seems Garrett needs a shower. We want to head left out of here this time, if we can. So, pause here. I'm hoping we don't run into the archer. Keep it slow so the Iron Beast doesn't hear us. Wait for the archer to leave. This is not a perfect shadow, so we want to get out of there quickly and get to this room where there is a perfect shadow. Grab that vase, brings our total to 583, and for the moment, completes our journey through the second floor. We're going to head up to the third floor now. So, we want to come out here to the central stairs. When I went you first, Paris took me This place is pretty crowded, but it's not that bad. What we want to do is, when we have an opening, drop down to the first floor to start and get into a good shadow there. Let me know what's going on. Never clue anything. This might actually be a good time. Let me see. If you can keep your fall quiet and get into this shadow, this is a great place to be. So, two swordsmen in purple, along with many of the little robots, 
are sometimes in this room. The only guy who's always here is that guy in the yellow suit going up and down the stairs. But if you get to this patch of shadow on the second floor, that's another great hiding spot. And then you can rope up to the third floor from here. Hmm. Not quite right. He saw the rope. So let's go ahead and try and get up there. Oh, okay. We're gonna have to wait, which is fine. As you no doubt noticed there, this is a perfect shadow. Okay. I thought I forgot that he does that little turn. Okay. Actually get into the corner and you are safe even from first alerts. Okay. We'll be able to make it now. <sighs> so if you get back into this corner, it's another safe shadow. And get up through this door on the right. Kind of have to hope for better timing than that. In this room, there are two pieces of loot. A vase over there, a goblet right here. This is also the best place to wait to pickpocket the guard on the third floor, so... I'm gonna wait for him to come back and get his silver key, and I'll actually hold on to it. Because we'll need it. I don't know if I can get him on his way out or not. Should be great if I could. But I can't. Wait here till he leaves again. That was our... That the Baron gets to eat cows all the time. Crud, I forgot a pickpocket. 
I have to go back and get it later. That's our ninth pickpocket. What? Well, that makes things easy. Last time I was here, there was a watcher in that corner, but he's not here now. I wonder if things are randomized. They must be. I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, I'm on expert. Kill no humans. So. We need to get across this hall. It's watched by two watchers and patrolled by a human. The same one we saw earlier, so. Yeah, I know the best time to get that pickpocket I missed. It won't be a problem. So wait until you can't hear his footsteps anymore. Then do a quick load. Now the one we can see is moving twice as fast as the other. If I remember their rhythm right, we want to wait until the second time it turns away and then bust our move. listen to make sure we didn't first alert the guard either. We didn't. That was perfect. So, next move into the Hall of Statues. Once you get through this arch, as long as you don't see anything in the hall, you can move as quick as you want. Behind the second statue on the left, find and flip a hidden switch. Bust it down to the end, make sure to grab the gold vase, brings our total to 760. And we're going to wait here for a little help getting another pickpocket. This door opens onto an archer with some arrows we want to pick. If we open the door ourselves, he'll hear it. <clears throat> Same if we close it ourselves. So I'm, the way I get around that is waiting for one of the little robots to come through and then following it through the door. If I uh, partially close it, you know, block it with my body and then leave that way, <clears throat> the next time an AI comes through, it'll open it all the way and then reclose it all the way, leaving all of our supreme rules intact. But I need to make sure there's one up here. Maybe I should do this on the way back. Should also make sure it's not stuck. Right when I start getting impatient is always when they show up. So let's go ahead and inch across here so we're at the door, ready for it. Uh-oh. Bad timing. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Let him open it. Hold it open. Then get back to my shadow. have to hope he doesn't notice it. Perfect. So now we can creep across here, get his arrows, which are our 10th pickpocket out of 18, since I missed one. Partially close it. 
Don't want it completely closed, though. Yeah. Probably good not to save outside the shadow. Get to march around outside and the grass and the trees. Uniforms are better. They got real good boots and nice gold trim in the army. Better be taffing around down here. What was that? Hmm. <coughs> <coughs> Alright. Oh, it was that guy across the way. Okay. Okay. I got it now. <coughs> He should fully open and shut the door. Oh, nope. Okay. I'll have to mess with that some more on my way back. For now, I'm gonna head across to the... Oops, I got too close. Hello? I have heard they heard me messing with the door. <coughs> hmm. Well, he opened it all the way that time, you see that? Maybe I just need to do a better job closing it. It's actually worth it to shift walk here just because people below you can hear you. Get to this bar, grab the plate off the wall up there, and the goblet off the end here. Brings our total to 785, then our silver key will open and lock the security office. Here in the security office, there's some reading material. Brother Ortham of the Mechanists, Angel Watch, Dayport, Captain Bloof, First City Bank and Trust Guard, 100 Gentry Boulevard, North Quarter. Captain Bloof, fact, the security of thy bank is double, nay, tenfold what was but a few months, go months ago, and thou art paying fewer human guards for their fallible efforts. Thou owest this fact to us, for we of the Mechanist Order do believe in generosity, e'en more when it opens the eyes of commoners to the values of our goodly innovations, though the situation is not one of mutual benefit. Therefore, it didst pain me greatly to read that thou believest the level of bank security at present to be enough. The plan I outlined to thee most assuredly called for more security machines and for greater care and deployment than thou hast currently there. We of the Mechanist Order shall feel sufficiently confident in the safety of our, of our valuables only when no humans be employed by the bank for this purpose. In particular, thou dost continue to protest the proposed changes to the vault door, so I shall take now the time to give thee a most full explanation of why it must be replaced. As previously stated, thy current time lock is a security risk because tis external to the vault. Once twas installed, the Hammerites chose to compromise this security in this way, for twould be impossible to ever open the vault again in the event that the time lock experienced some failure. However, mechanist engineering far exceeds that of the hammers, and thusly our time lock hath many redundant timing mechanisms, any of which can complete to bring about the opening of thy vault door. 
If tis too complex for thee, thou simply need to understand this. Currently, it is possible to manipulate the time lock to cause the vault to open ahead of schedule. The new vault lock will not be so grievously flawed, and there will be no chance of critical mechanical failure. Within a month, we shall send a team of engineers to thy bank for to upgrade the time lock and inspect thy security placement. I expect there shall be no further issues. Thy patrons and managers shall no doubt be pleased at the increase in security. Sincerely, Brother Ortham. And back here, there's another journal. I've half a mind to plead with Captain Bluth to ignore his managers and give that damn brother Ortham what he's got coming. Every time they come from a meeting, Bluth seems like a kettle about to boil over, but he follows his orders and treats Ortham with respect. When Ortham was in here last week, he was going on and on about his metal guards and faces, where to put them properly and such, how we were showing such poor judgment, and Captain Bluth just not listened and nodded. In the six years that I've worked here, not one security breach has occurred. Poor judgment indeed. And and finally, back here is the switch to deactivate the lobby watchers, which we'll need to hit. Lobby camera control, there you go. So listen at the door until you hear the guard get here, you'll hear him pause, then you'll hear him start to walk away. He'll notice if the door is open, if this one's open. I guess because it's the security office that it's supposed to be locked. So don't open it until he's on his way out. track pretty closely behind him without too much to worry Get clear of the room so he doesn't hear the door open. <laughs> well, if this door is standing open, I can't leave it like that. See, if I close it, he'll first alert. I'm just about certain that if I get it near enough to closed, then the robot will open and shut it for me. Let's try putting a scouting orb in the way. Okay. I guess a scouting orb doesn't get in the way. Probably never was true. And now I just believed him like a taff head. <laughs> They're probably laughing at me now, behind my back. Uh, not true at all. Nope. Strange noises. Okay, I think I've got it now. That time he didn't first alert. How do you like that? <sighs> Who knows what the inner workings of this game are. Well, some people do. People who have spent a lot of time in Dramed. I don't know why he'd first alert every time and then just not do it that time, but he didn't do it. Now we'll wait for the guard to head back the other way. 
and head back through the Hall of Statues. It does bear mentioning, stay in the center of the Hall of Statues. On either side, there are pressure plates, which will trigger some traps if you're not careful. And then, once you get here, you're in hearing range of the other patroller, so you have to be quiet. Now, we want to head north in that hallway. So to make sure we're clear to do that, we have to wait until we see the patroller headed south. I don't know if he'll... I don't think he'll see me if I'm flush with the south wall here. He doesn't. Good. So wait for him to get a good ways away. And this time, since we're headed north, we can just jump under the fast water. It's much easier to do. And then just head into this office. First, there's a safe you can pick open. Brings our loot total to 860. And then this area was opened by the switch in the Hall of Statues. Gives us credit for our second secret. Make sure you get the ring by the skeleton's hand. Brings our loot total to 935. That's it. As you can hear, the guard is back, so we have to wait for him to turn around and leave again. This is a good spot to real save. We're safe from just about everything in here. Singing at night, looking for girl birds to meet up with. Just don't hear them no more. Kind of sad. You know, I've made the mistake of becoming an active participant on the thief discussion boards at the IDOS forum. I guess I shouldn't call that a mistake in and of itself. But there's an argument going on about the morality of killing in the thief games. And. In addition to the fact that it's just, I think, a lot more fun to leave everyone alive and certainly is more difficult, I don't understand why people want to kill the, ba the guards. I mean, the guards aren't bad guys. Anyway, we do want to get back to the Hall of Statues. Have you heard him musing about birds... Singing in the morning, waking you up, singing at night, looking for girl birds to meet up with. The guards aren't bad guys. They're just dudes doing a job, trying to put food on the table. Why would you kill them? I don't know. Anyway, flip the switch back for Supreme so that the niche in the office is closed. Get back to this shadow again. I should point out that when we turned off the lobby watchers, we busted Supreme. So Supreme is gone, but my god, we can get through the mission without a first alert at least. So we need to wait for him to head south again, because if we try to cross the hall, even when he's at the north pause, the end of his patrol, he'll hear us crossing the hall. But when he's at the south pause, he doesn't. We also want to start our move while he's still walking, because 
What can happen while you're waiting for the watchers is he'll start to walk back and he'll hear you. The random deletion of the watcher in that corner makes things easier, for sure. The worst timing. We'll wait for the slow one's second turn, and I think we should be able to get through. Not even close. Maybe let's try right away. Nope, that won't work either. How about now? Nope. <laughs> I need to science out the fast one a little better. Now. Perfect. Anyway, the first time I played, there was a watcher in that corner, but it was pretty easy to get past. You just had to wait for it to turn, and then run up underneath it, and then when it turned to face east, you could jump over these desks and get back to this shadow fast enough. The two malfunctioning robots are on the floor of that room. So, ideally, he's at the other end of his patrol now, and we can just slip back out here. All right, what was that? The that little ramp is a big problem. All right, what? If you can, if you want to try to jump over it, All right, who's it's tough because of the door jam. The other big problem is how slow Garrett is creeping up it, but, alright. We're now ready to tackle the first floor. So the first step is just to wait for an opening and then drop down to the f shadow on the second level, which we've played with already. Who's over there? Oops. Forgot about that turn. Sorry, folks. Huh? That time I got too greedy. Again, sorry, folks. <coughs> Here we go. Alright, who's making. Oh, Garrett, 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 Garrett. <coughs> There you go. Once you get down here, wait till he gets to the end. Get here. This is a good shadow. From here, he can drop to the one on ground level. We just have to cross that one patch of light without being seen by any of the 30 or so patrollers who go through here. If you just creep right up, good to go. Time to tackle the first floor. Let me think about the order I want to do this in. The... Hmm. Obviously, we'll do the vault and the dome and the guard room and that zone last. So, I am going to. I'm going to clear the east side first. That's easier, actually. Then, I'm going to get these rooms north of the lobby, including the vase next to the fountain, and then head through the lobby as I move toward the dome in the vault. So, the first thing to clear is this bar. <clears throat> C 
Creep on the tile portions. Rejoice in the ability to move quickly on the wood ones. Get in a position to see the watcher. Wait for it to turn right. This is a good shadow to be in. And you want to get underneath it. There are ten pieces of loot on the bar. So just make sure you count ten as you grab them all. Six coin stacks and four little coins. I got four on that run. There, I got all ten. There's an archer that patrols into here too, so you'll want to be careful of him. And then as it turns away, I'm just going to hop the bar. Probably just the... Uh, the archer first alerted. Well, if the archer's on his way in, then I'm going to wait here until he patrols in and leaves. that hang up would get me in trouble and it did and when you're under it as it turns left if you can manage to hop over the bar you'll be good come on Garrett If Garrett would just make the jump on the first try, I'd be golden. Let's do this instead. Let's go here. Then we'll hop to the middle shadow from here. And then, as it turns 